All right, what's up, my friends? Welcome to 10 New Brews. I build 10 new decks. The brand new set, Innistrad Crimson Bow. 10 new decks, five games, best of one, rock it and roll. And this is deck number four of 10. Any you misses on YouTube, check that out. Coolstuffinc.com is the article on the deck list and my thoughts on each. Coolstuffinc.com, check that out. Let's rock and roll with deck number four here, a deck I have dubbed The Butcher because Meat of Massacre reminds me of The Butcher from Diablo, and I love Diablo, and you get the idea. You get the idea. So, this is basically just an update to the mono black deck I've played a lot. This is probably the most serious deck of the bunch. We just played the most unserious deck. Uh, an insane reanimator deck was super, super cool. But we're going to pop into uh, to a little more serious deck. The most serious of the bunch here. An update to the mono black deck I've played a lot on stream. A lot of good updates, too. Soren the Mirthless, I think is really, really good. Honestly, I think Soren's awesome. Uh, plus one to Dark Confidant, but you can choose not to. Minus two to make a Vampire Nighthawk. Just a super solid grindy Planeswalker, which is nice. Um, compliments Lalith really well. And compliments the top end of a deck. If a deck is pretty cheap, uh, a lot of sacrifice things going on here. Meet of Massacre, Eye Twitch, Village Rites, etc. And uh, super super solid card. And then we get uh, Fell Stinger, an upgrade to Village Rites. Fell Stinger is awesome. Demand for a 3 2 Death Touch. It exploits. When you exploit, you, you lose two, gain two, or lose two, draw two. And. The big problem with Village Rites is it doesn't affect the board. It actually minuses off the board, whereas Fellstinger is a great blocker and attacker. So, super pumped for Fellstinger. Super good card. Obviously, very good with Jadar. Good with Skyclave, Shade, uh, Eye Twitch, Shambling Gas. You get the idea. So, that's new card number two. New card number three is Concealing Curtains. And I don't really understand how literally a bookshelf, some plants, and curtains are a creature. But we are going to summon them uh, early and often. One mana creature here. Pay three, transform into a three, four, and you get the Vendillion click your opponent, which is kind of a cool new card. I'm pretty worried about trying to flip this and having it die in response, so we'll see how, how well it plays out. But, and again, all these decks are first drafts. Uh, this is definitely the most tuned deck of the bunch, so I've played previous versions of it. But um, all these decks are first drafts. No doubt how they're going to work, and we're just going to jump right in and see uh, and see how it goes. Let's see. Uh, wishboard here. The deck is green because of Pest Summoning. Thanks, Magic Arena, for not understanding this deck is mono black. All right, there's your uh, there's your lesson board. Obviously, we're playing best of one, best of three, build a better sideboard, you do your thing, all right? Don't forget, we're brought to you by untapped.gg. Untapped.gg is the freaking bomb. Uh, if you play Arena, you don't use untapped.gg, uh, you're really missing out. It's a free service. You can track all of your decks just like this. As you can see, this is the last thing we played that was super, super fun. Track your win rates, track your collection. Um, you just track literally just everything on untapped.gg. It's free. Simple little thing to download, and it's super, super awesome. Check it out. Uh, untapped.gg. Link is in the uh, the, uh, the stuff below, description in. below, and so on and so Consistent forth. All right, check it out, folks. Let's go. Round one. Psycho. Appreciate it. Thanks so much. Kind words. Aww. Kind words to reset. Prediction, folks. Place your bets. And uh, place your bets, and let's rock and roll here with our eye twitch and our concealing curtains. Uh, we're going to keep this. All the Storm Giants go. So we're going to play a Swamp. And we're going to lead on... So, like, do we lead on Curtains? Not a third land, necessarily. Let's not lead on Shambling Guest. Let's not lead on Shambling Guest. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Baiting Hope, sure. Didn't matter. Didn't matter either way. Didn't matter either way. Can I not fit in the 5-6 Flample for 4? It's just like a big clunky card. You know, I don't know if that card... That card is kind of cool... I think Soren's a better four drop for this deck. It's like more more grindy than like it's more of a grindy deck than like a you know Jund Thoughtseize kill your thing play a big thing play a big thing kind of deck. So might be wrong, might be wrong. But so we can shade here or we can curtains plus guest. Um, they can have the four spike here for sure, and the curtains plays into that a little better. The fear is if I go to flip curtains and they unsummon it in response, it's a devastating tempo swing. So I'm just gonna guess shade here. They want to four spike my shade. Go for it. Peanut, first time chatter. What's up, my friend? How's it going? Welcome. How do you choose cards for modern cyborgs? I, I mean, that is such an open-ended question that would take like 90 hours to answer. Try and fine-tune that question a little bit. I'll try and help you, but it sounds like a pretty uh, pretty large topic. All right, here comes, like, here, comes, here comes the shade. So, we're going to divide by zero. Sure. That spot where village rights have been nice, but and they're going to get teachings of the archaic. So, we play a land here. And we can play Shade and a 1-drop. Or we can play Trespasser. I do a Trespasser a lot against them. Because it eats the graveyard slowly. Um, gains some life. It's good against... It's good with Fate to say go because it flips. We don't know if they're like the full-on Dragon's deck. Or full-on Fate deck or not yet. But... Uh, or we can go Shade plus Curtains. Curtains is weird. Uh, this card kind of like... I don't know if I like this card, honestly. I guess this. 
Play this. Eat Fading Hope. In case they have Leer. So they go. Deck lists are uh, on the overlay right now. Expansion Point deck works as well. Uh, all the deck lists will be in my article tomorrow on CoolStuffInc.com. You'll have every deck list, a letter grade for each deck, my thoughts on each deck, prospects for each deck, all the info you could ever want. Uh, Alright, so we didn't draw a land, unfortunately, which really sucks. But we're going to attack. Yeah, like if, a, if the Curtains dies in response to the, the, the activation, it's Curtains for you. It's a joke. Uh... Right, well, now I'm sad I didn't play I didn't play Shade in the one drop last turn because I can't play Stinger, but we're just gonna play Shade and play a Shambling Guest. So you go. We're kinda beaten down here. Trying to land pretty sweet also, but we got seven power in play. If they don't cast a spell, we're gonna have eight power in play, plus more. Kinda. Day turns night. Alright, so we're gonna bash. Just send it. I think they're just playing their regular Epiphany deck and they're not playing uh, dragons or anything like that, so. Alright, that was pretty good. Um, so it's interesting, if we played Felstinger and they were to kill the Stinger in response, we wouldn't draw cards. But. Felstinger, sack the Ghast, try and draw land, get treasure. No Force Spike. Why is Exploit so like... Oh, because it's, it's like the zombies are getting zapped or whatever, like Frankenstein style. All right, sure. All right. Uh, make a treasure. Lose two. Draw two. Draw lands for days. Love it. Um, by the curtains. Nice. Mouse Hunter, what's up, my friend? Thanks to Risa. Appreciate it. I should cast this too, I think. I should cast this too. If they have, like, a Battle of Frost and Fire here, like, it's pretty bad, I guess. But we just have Ithrish anyway, whatever, you know. They're going to Windfall, discarding a Force Spike. And they're going to make some uh, some stuff and try and take some turns. So we're going to sit back here. We're going to sip our drink, and we're going to see what happens. Burn down the house. Day Turn Sights from a uh, Aesop Rock song. An Aesop Rock song. Aesop Rock. Um, kind of like anatomy here, honestly. We're gonna we're gonna go soar and plus ghast. I want to just like get in, basically. <clears throat> Excuse me. We definitely like went pretty pretty far in there, but we kind of need to kill them before they go off. So, and they don't play that many, that many supers usually, so. This is Shade, but we're just going to Soren make a token and play the Shambling Guest. Soren Sogan being bad against Unsummon is not ideal, but... That was a cool animation. Why did that have a cool animation? Hmm. Who knows? Oh, God. Typically, this Black deck struggles against the, uh, the deck in Game 1. Um, and it only is a Game 1, so... Doesn't kill fast enough. It's just kind of like the 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 reason why Epiphany is bad for the format. Even if it's not like broken or like unfair, it just pushes out any not really fast deck or not counterspell deck. Oh my god! What's this? Waka waka. That poor vampire. That three cards to kill a vampire token. All right. I mean, I think we're like in okay shape here, honestly. Unless they have like another Epiphany or something. Or they have nine mana. All right. Yeah, whatever. Um, I guess it's like kind of bad for us. We block this, kill one of these, I guess. We're at 16. Maybe we're in trouble. Maybe we're in trouble. Maybe they're taking, they're taking three turns in a row is too much for us. Draw another Soren. Ay, ay, ay. Uh. Yeah. Just like make them attack it, I guess. Obviously, planeswalk like value planeswalkers aren't good against Epiphany because they don't care about value. 
Uh, they remove that part of the game from the equation by just like taking five turns and killing you. So. All right. Uh, seven, eight, nine, ten. Got a four. They're gonna leave Soren and are in ready to rock and roll here. It's probably just make a vampire, honestly. Um, we need a blocker for the stupid Hall Storm Giants. Like, it sucks because the best card we can draw off Soren is Laleth, and that would kill us. Uh, so, giving Vigilance to Shade doesn't really do anything. I guess we could just, like, Haven, attack, and then... No, we, we need a blocker for the stupid 7-7. Seven, seven. Um, that works, though. That kind of plays. So, so yeah, let's, let's, let's Haven, attack, and just, can't, just let's make a thing and, and then anatomy it, I guess. So attack. Sure. And then we will uh, make a vampire. Pump the vampire. So we got chump block here that will gain four. Requires them to like tap all their mana too, obviously. They're at five. One, two, cast iteration. Didn't copy it. Yeah, so. Epiphany is good. It's weird that the, uh, the finally tuned Epiphany deck would beat the, uh, the deck full of new cards in it. But what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Oh, I won. Oh, I won. Yeah, we have, we had a sideboard for that last game. You need to bring in dresses and go blank stuff. Things change a lot, but as far as game one goes, it's pretty tough. It's pretty tough. The stand's fine though. Not great, but fine. Fine. Thanks for following Burn Store. If you haven't followed this room with that follow button, of course, on YouTube, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Take a second. Like the video, leave a comment. Helps me out a ton. Helps me out a ton. Look at this. Believers in chat. Appreciate the uh, support, folks. Keeping. Most comments in the video gets a redo. There we go. This is this is, a, this is more of a, more of our kind of matchup here. A little white weenie action. Thalia here would be a little annoying. Thalia would be a little annoying here. Aspirin's fun. Alright, so it's fine. We're gonna grass this. Let's do it now, I guess. I guess we, we don't know what's happening. Let's see. Go. Count the way to combat though. So. Yeah, sure. Kill this. Trespasser, Spider Queen, eaten alive. Our hand's not like great. We're definitely a little lacking in like cheap stuff, but hopeful initiate and a passive a turn that is great for us. White's definitely a very good matchup. This deck is very good in best of one against white. Eat that, gain a life. Happy to trade Trespasser for Usher the Fallen. As long as, as, long as we survive to allow, I'm feeling pretty good. Feeling pretty good. Yeah, it'd be, it'd be a weird attack. Snap lock. Make trades. Stay alive. Cast Spider Queen. Say go. Jadar. Jadar. We'll just say go here. Make a zombie. I would I would block Jadar on adversary given the opportunity. Just a fine trade for us, I think. Thalia, Guardian of Thraben. Thalia's still good. Uh, we're gonna block here. Thalia obviously makes us off of our Spider Queen, unfortunately. We draw an Eye Switch, which is fine. Um, we can, like, Eye Switch Eaten Alive. There's no point in casting Sciences. Um, yeah, whatever, sure. Don't want to stack the... Uh, the zombie instead of the eye switch? I think I do, actually. Sack creature, target this, sack this. We're live at five for Lol next turn. 
We can jump block if we feel like we have to. Another adversary. Very adversarial of them. And Felstinger too, that's kinda cool. Need to be a little aware of our life total, I guess, in Felstinger in our deck too. It is uh it is uh, certainly damaged, but now I think the game's just over, so. Now what? Yeah, two lands for Spider Queen. Two lands for Spider Queen. Alright, so we are one and one. One and one! The Butcher. Deck number four. Ten new brews. Hands great. Hands great. He's looking at you. Shatter Skull. I twitch you. Felsinger's good draw. What's up, Kyle? Yeah, bugs early in the day for sure, for sure. Alright. Uh, let me Skyclave Shade here. We could, like, kill the Naturalist if we're, like, really scared of something bad happening to us. We just have this Felstinger next turn, so. Don't want to sacrifice my only creature in play. What do you got for me? Cast something dumb, whatever. Bring it. Bring it. Stormseeker. Came for five. Add a green. You draw another Soren. Uh, so this is gonna be, I think, a shade attack. We're gonna like the shade of spell, the Felslinger. Keep our blockers back. Sting ya. Sack this. I think Soren's gonna have multiple homes, or is he a little limited? Um, Soren's like just a fine planeswalker. If you just need, if you want like a planeswalker in your deck, you know, if your deck's kind of grindy, does kind of require you to be a little lower curve. So the Dark Confidant effect uh, is reasonable, but solid card. Just a solid card. What's up, gaming? Ranger class. What's this? A ranger. Another Fell Stinger, too. So, pretty easy block here. Block, block. We're not playing Stinger next turn, so... It's probably Soren next turn. Make it... Eh. Soren's not great. It's awkward. We, we want to we select multiple things. We've drawn a old few too many Planeswalkers here. Uh, I can just get a uh, Pest Summoning, I guess. And just like play Pest Summoning and into Eaten Alive. This is fine. I like this. What's up, Citizen? Oh, I answered question. Uh, so we're going to get uh, Pest Summoning. We're at 11. Ooh, wow. Sick draw. All right. We draw Meat of Massacre. Uh, that's almost really good. Almost really good. Uh, absolutely cannot, under any circumstances, allow them to draw a card off this. So we're just going to pass summoning and, uh, and eat alive. So we get to gain a life off this. If I could draw a land next turn, you get to be a Massacre for three. Because they can pump things up, which is kind of awkward for us. So, kind of need lands here, honestly. Unnatural Moonrise has been cast. Uh, okay. I suppose. Um, that's a card you can play in your deck. Yeah. Uh, we're in trouble, folks. Can I, can I take seven here? I don't think I can. So just draw a land for Meetup Massacre, I guess. Please draw a land for Meetup Massacre. Please draw a land. Let's go. Come on, land. Crap. Yellow freaking hat. What's up, Gabe? How's it going, folks? What is up? Welcome to 10 New Brews. My name is Jim. How's it going? How y'all doing today? And, uh... Make a little noise here, huh? Right, 10 New Brews, and uh, we're on brew number 4 of 10. On, we built 10 new decks. It's the new set. Best of one. Five games per deck. We're one-on-one -on -one with this deck right now. With the uh, old sexy boy Soren here. And, uh, we didn't draw land that term. Didn't draw land, unfortunately, which kind of sucks for the old meat hook. So now we're deciding what we want to do. And I think we're going to cast Sora and make a blocker. It's like soak damage for a turn. 
The problem is now the Ranger class can like outrace my Comedic Massacre. So we're probably in trouble here. Like really need to draw a land. But we'll see what we can do. We'll see what we can do. Again, if you haven't followed Gabe, obviously Gabe's insane. Uh, good people. I think Gabe's going to be uh, in queue for charity again, right? Queue for charity will be over the holiday season. The most fun you can have ever. Both attack Soren. It's a pretty easy no block here. And now the issue is that we are behind on massacring everything, which sucks. Uh, sweet. Awesome. So we don't have enough mana. To, I mean, like, I'm sorry, we do actually. We do. So if we draw a land, he goes to dies. I'll go today. He goes today, and we drew a land. Forget everything I said. I'm a liar. I'm a cheat. I'm a I'm a thief. I'm a bitch. I'm a lover or whatever. Um, we drew a land. That's great. Um, let's guess Meat of Massacre and kill our opponent. What do y'all think about that? How's that sound? I forgot this thing was pumping everything. And there we. Go. Get off my plane. Let's go. Whoosh. It's a massacre. Oh, fresh meat. About to be one on one here. Oh, yeah, naturalist? Sure. 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 Spider queen. Alright. Queen it up. Queen me. Give him the hook. They do have spells in hand and two ranger class in play, but like, I don't think they're going to beat my, uh, my, my hand here. Hand's pretty good. Level three, say go. Oh, get out of here. You're done. You're done. It's curtains for you. Uh, draw a card. Jadar. So we can like curtains flip. We could Jadar plus Stinger. Um... Hmm. We're almost like more concerned with the top of their deck than we are uh than we are the cards in their hand though, so I think I like Stinger. We'll play Jadar also and get the uh the ball rolling. Obviously now that Meat Hook is in play when things die, it's really good for us, so play Stinger. You draw land here too, I guess, right? Sack this thing. Target me. Counters, life, draw, eye twitch, eaten alive. We can wait on that. Find a better target. Play this. Play that. Do things. Good day. Say go. Rocking it. Rocking it. This deck struggles against the Epiphany decks, but definitely is it's pretty solid against everything else. It's got game. It's got a game. If I had worked on it more, I'd probably put an SG gun. I've seen the older version of it, but this is like the most established deck we're playing today. Our last deck was an insane brew. Uh, it was a, a reanimator Olivia deck. It was freaking awesome. Uh, anything missing would be on YouTube. 2 and 1. No, 1 and 1. 1 and 1. 1 and 1. 1 and 1. Cool Stuff Inc. is the best. No paywall. Cool Stuff Inc. Best content out there. No paywall. New content every weekday. I do a written article on Monday, um, on Friday, and a video article on Monday. Keep curtains. Not a press of curtains so far. And again, if you're just tuning in, all of these decks are. This is the most established deck of all the decks. But all the decks are first drafts. We're just trying things out, trying out new cards. Um, so these are not necessarily established decks you should be playing. You just want to try as many, many new cards as possible. I beat Mono White, the only two lands, I'm two and one. Yeah? Is that right? Is that right? That, that excites me. I'm happy now. Uh, we're going to play the Eye Switch here. What does curtains do when flipped? It vanilla clicks your opponent. If it if it actually flips. If they kill it in response, something happens. So it's a huge blowout waiting to happen. Which I don't like. Which I don't like. Not really a fan. Not really a fan. So I'm two and one right now. Love it. Love it. Shambling guest. Right, we're definitely attacking. Kind of weird that they're green with no two drop. That's pretty odd. Um we're going to Jadar, because they didn't have a 2-drop, they probably have a troll. So I highly doubt messing my shades attacking next turn. So play Jadar, get village rights going, do some stuff. Coming in. Football tonight. Just football tonight. Take one. Play Jadar, make it so can say go. That is true. 
That's it is true. Go check untap.gg or you can check out all my decks and all my thoughts and all my records and all my everythings. Can't hide on untapped. I am 2-1. Look at that. Look at that. I look at look at that. I am 2-1. Ooh, yeah, there it is. Let's hear it for me. Let's hear it for me. Munich Massacre, what is going on? This is mono green control. What's the What's the deal here? Alright, we're gonna attack with everything. We're gonna village rights the token place fact they've changed as they go. Thanks for the great content. Dwayne, thank you for subscribing. I appreciate that. Love it. Yeah, weird hand here. Uh, full control, tax step. Gotta go full control to sacrifice your zombie before it dies to decayed. Get number four. Oh, Jadar. Cool card. Cool card. And village rights. Sack this. Draw two. Tub leggings. This is an updated version of my uh, my mono black deck. A lot of new cards in it. Soren, shades, etc. We we got we got curtains and we got shades. Get it? It's a it's a home dec de decorative joke. Eh? 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 Everyone loves home decorative jokes. Toski, this is your this is this is what you're doing right now. This is the best you can do. Turn four, Toski. What is happening? Um. We can't really play meetup for for zero, for one. Um, it's like pretty annoying, actually. All right, uh, we like kind of can't attack and do it. We can attack next turn though, so we'll just play curtains and pop it. Let's see what their hand is. I'm not gonna. You're not gonna block with your indestructible squirrel. Come on, let's get real here. All right, let's get real. It's curtains for you. Gas deals with Toski, we don't even know sacrifice. Their hand is Inscription, Vornclex, Vornclex, Frog Hemoth. Uh, okay. So I'll take the Inscription, it's the only good card in their hand. Mm, sure. All right, well, we got stuff in play. I know Ollie was playing like a really big mono green deck, because Ollie can't play a deck with a mana curve, it's less than like CMC5, so. Always great. Always like, here's my deck. The mana curve starts with three and a half. And I'm like, how are you ever going to win? And he just wins. I don't know. Always great. Blizzard Brawl off the top to kill my Skyclave Shade. Double Blizzard. Somebody play a prank on me. So obviously the uh, the downside of revealing eyes, that's not thought seeds, it's Vendillion Click. So they drew double Blizzard, Blizzard Brawl, uh, which is fine. I mean, it could be worse, right? It didn't actually do much. Um, now we drew Eaten Alive and Spider Queen. If they draw a land by Vorinclex, like, it's kind of annoying. We just, like, beat them, I think. So, just, like, play Spider Queen, make spiders attack them. Get Eaten Alive and whatever. So just kill them. I will show you what just kill them. Like, third six. Get Massacre. What are they gonna do? What are they gonna do? Squirrel me? They gonna throw a squirrel at me? Is that what they're gonna do? Said, what are they gonna do? They're gonna mulch. This is a big one. And mulch and the whiff. Oh no. What a bad day for Toski. Poor Toski. Three and one. We'll take it. We'll take it. Bad day for the squirrel. It's Pavy's fools. Three and one. Winning record. Book it. Book it. All right. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, this card's terrible. I hate this card. I think this card's awful. Uh huh. Stinger's great. No friends. Maybe we'll decide the curtains of a stinger. I don't know how a scorpion eats literal curtains and potted plants, but. Which Bruce felt smoothest? The red deck felt pretty good. The red deck felt pretty good. Um. This deck is like cheating a little bit because it's like a pretty established deck that I've been playing for a while that I've added some new cards into. It's the least brewy of the decks. So like it's pretty smooth, but like it's already kind of there. It's not like a fair uh, analysis, I don't think. But Mono Green again. Sounds more like a cat. Yeah, yeah, right. Just knocking over potted plants and stuff. Well, the Clink isn't even that good, you know? 
Hedron. Sure. Massacre. It's a massacre. It's a defender. It's a defender. The curtains can't even attack. So lame. So lame. Hercules says, look forward to your new brews every set review. Excited to catch up on YouTube. Aww. That's a good reminder for everyone that uh, my full set review is up on YouTube. That's right. The full set review is up on YouTube. So uh, there it is, folks. Every card in the set. Go check out the set review. And uh, yeah, you're all freaking great. I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what to tell you. Full set review is up there. We draw uh, our third copy of Felstinger. Oh my god. Um, and they went pack leader into wolf. Their hand is good. Uh, their hand is good. We are going to uh, sack curtains and I guess just just try and do our thing. Yeah, I'm I'm I I didn't love the idea of curtains when I saw it, but uh, now that I've got had it, I played with it a few bit. I, I, now that I've played with it a little bit, I am extremely unimpressed. Uh, the card seems terrible, actually. Unless you're like specifically trying to beat like a spell based deck. But they're just going to, like, kill it or unsummon it response and absolutely blow you out. If you tap three mana, all right, you tap three mana to flip this and they kill it response, the game is over. You lose. You lose. Make a mana. So they can't draw off pack leader unless they have a blizzard brawl, which is good. Very, very important for us to keep them from drawing off pack leader because we'll, we'll win the long game otherwise. So, curtains has, the curtains has been great for you so far. In what deck? It might just like not be like not right for this deck because this deck's more like a sacrificey kind of grindy deck, but so far extremely unimpressed. If it was a Thoughtsea, sure, but as a Vendillion click, like I don't even like clicking my opponent. Honestly, I often I would normally cast click, look at their hand, just not take anything, so I can play with perfect information. You know, you only want to take it if it's like really, really good. Keep the curtains and no, we draw cards. What's up, Big Boss? First time chatter! Big Boss, what's up? Right, so, they pump it, they attack, they offer a trade here, great. Big draw card, awesome. Shambling Guest, that was actually a pretty sick draw because now I can ramp into a, a Massacre even better. So, play Guest, Stinger it. They are, um, using Ranger class to possibly get a little ahead of my Mito Massacre, but I can make that work. Not gonna kill the, the Hedron. Oh my god. So many. It's like the shirt says. <laughs> you gotta buy your shirt whenever you get mana flooded. Call us the Parallel Dot Shop. I'm gonna go James Antip, instead of your order. All right, so um, make green. Inscription. They're gonna fight the Hedron on the Stinger. So we're like, we could Village Rites here, but we kind of want to kill the Stinger. Yeah, I actually want to Village Rites though. Just draw two, our hand's pretty bad. And like, leaving the Hedron in play is not really a big deal. So, I guess I have a 3-3 three, three, though. Yeah, ne never mind. we should keep, should keep Treasure too. All right, top ad Matt, resub, thanks so much. Play Veil, attack, put a counter on this. All right, that was that was a huge pump by them. They, they did not play around my, my massacre, and now they're going to get wrecked. So you get nothing. You I guess we're not actually wrecked. We're, actually, we're, we're just dead. Hold on. Oh, we're, we're dead. Never mind. We're close to dead, though. But still. Put the thing here. Haven comes in for five. We go to seven. Oh, and Fantasy Matt? Yeah. Yeah. That's fair. I'll take it. I can take it. Go to... They tap the... I guess I had to tap the, uh, the land here. Oh, no! Alright. That's fair. That's fair. They got us. They got us good. Uh, the life loss hurt there a bit, honestly. Um, kind of an awkward hand. We drew a lot of stingers, not a lot of filler stuff. But that's fine. That's fine. So we end up going three and two, I believe. That's, that's, our, that's, our, that's our final record, I believe, right? Three and two? I think. Right? Someone help me? Yep. Oh, no. It, uh... Yeah, it's got my stats in my old... This is like an older deck. Sure. So... 
take a look here. We went, yeah, three and two, three and two. So all in all, curtains, I, I'm not I'm not a fan of the curtains at all. Uh, not about the curtains. Stinger was good, but the life does add up a little bit. I think it's more of like a two to three card than a four of. Um, and then Soren felt good also, but I think three is also too many. I always put a lot of new cards in just to try them out, but pretty reasonable additions to the deck here, honestly. Soren and Stinger both felt pretty good. All I guess like a lot is not great against Epiphany, but just a cool deck. Just a cool deck. So that's it. That's uh, that's, that's going to be deck number four. Deck number five is coming up. But all you YouTube folks, love you, like, comment, subscribe. You miss anything, it's all on YouTube folks, all right? Appreciate it. Deck five coming up. And new Bruce.